We tried a lot that our peers did um, to, to diversify. We um, made some acquisitions to kind of broaden outside of the Fayetteville market. We had two large weekly military publishing contracts, uh, commercial printing. We started our website in 1995. New publications, started a couple new weeklies, folded a couple weeklies, started a couple magazines, folded a couple magazines. We got pretty big in community events. What does that have to do with the newspaper? It has everything to do with the newspaper, not just being ink on paper, but being this community convener. We were doing all that, and so much of it seemed true to our core, even though you could imagine some of our veteran employees would be like, you know, Charles, we didn't have to do this 15 or 20 years ago, but they're smart. They know that to pay the bills and to stay strong, you have to do that. You can imagine the decision to sell. Uh, I was a fourth generation member of the family and the only one working there at the time uh, was painful. I think probably a, a, a combination of factors. Uh, people know uh, the challenges in our industry. Consultant came in and really in reporting to our board said, you know, publishing a newspaper these days is not for the faint of heart. Not only the financial challenges, but the, the different projects and initiatives and even disciplines that you're trying to bring under one institutional roof to meet your commitments. That led to, it was about a year of a marathon with several dips and turns and a couple of surprises uh, that um, became at the end about a 60 day sprint to the finish line that resulted in the sale effective August the 1st of 2016 here of the Fayetteville Observer to New Media Investments. People would know them as Gatehouse. My leadership team at the Observer, um, they were troopers throughout the process. We did not let our foot off the pedal. Looking back, um, just proud to be associated with that team. They just did a magnificent job through terribly trying circumstances. What gives me hope is that um, the fundamentals are still there. I know a number of family-owned operations that are doing very well. They're all looking for answers. Uh, and what's frustrating is we know there's not, there's not one answer. It's probably maybe a hundred different answers that will end up uh, hopefully paying off down the road to keep them strong and independent. I started at the Observer when I was 16 and I wanted to be a sports writer. What I believe in is, um, is community journalism in some form, and I'm hoping I could in some way be part of, uh, of, uh, of that future, whether as a writer, a journalist, or somebody who just believes in uh, how you can bring a community together with, with a good news operation, whatever it's called these days. It's good to be here at UNC surrounded by all these brains. I think I just need to hitch my wagon to some of your bright students. They're gonna figure out how people want their information and then how to pay for it, which is at least as difficult. And I don't have those answers yet, but uh, got some ideas uh, and I hope maybe a year from now, I'll have a little bit more figured out.